Welcome back y'all to Whiplash TV. I appreciate y'all coming back to check out another video. Y'all probably read the title already so you know that I'm going to add a carbon fiber rear spoiler onto the deck lid of this CTSV. I absolutely love the look of carbon fiber and I already have several bits on the car. I have a carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber front fender vents. I also have a carbon fiber front splitter and I also have a carbon fiber shift knob. I do have videos on the installation of the carbon fiber front fender vents, the front splitter, and the shift knob. So if y'all wanna check out those carbon fiber pieces, then be sure to go check those out here on the channel. All of these carbon fiber parts can be found at streetdrivenperformance.net. I buy all my stuff from Velati, v-l-a-d-i so y'all i've been wanting to kind of add something to the back end of the car i've got the black badges i've also blacked out all the chrome and the tail lights and the third brake light but i really wanted to add even more to the car and i also wanted to bring some of that carbon fiber touch to the back of the car as well just to kind of tie it all in so i decided to get one of their regular carbon fiber spoilers for the back of here and i really think it's going to look good let's go take a look at it so here is the new carbon fiber spoiler right here it looks really really good it's going to help give a lot of extra attitude to the back of this car it is carbon fiber both on the back side and the top side. It's super lightweight. You're not going to add any weight really to your car, hardly. And they've already saved time by adding the 3M tape strips to the back of the spoiler. So that's going to make installation really a breeze because we have nothing to remove and the tape has already been installed. Now I will say one thing, on the spoiler, there is a little section here where this part is beveled up a little bit higher than where the tape is at. And there was one spot here where the tape kind of stuck over onto the high point, which I don't want because I want it to sit as flush to the body as possible. So if you find any spots where it is too close to the edge, just carefully trim it back like I did there. The way that this is set up, all of this 3M tape is going to stick to the paint of the car. Except for when you get right back up in here where this indention is. Because this is made to stick to the top side of the third brake light. Let's go set it up to the car and do a little mock up and take a look. I don't think I'm in danger of having it fall and slide off, but y'all just be careful when you're setting it up here for mock-up not to let it fall off the car. Make sure it's sitting on there decent. So this is basically what it's going to look like once we get it stuck down. So back here in the back, you've got the third brake light and there's a flat section to it right there at the top. So this carbon fiber piece comes right down to where that flat section is at. So it's going to stick to the top side of that. It rides the whole way across and then meets up with the paint. So that's how the back end is going to look. Let's check our sides. Looks pretty good right there. Then let's go over to the other side. That looks good as well. So it looks like the fitment's really good. It's built to where it's going to cover virtually all the deck lid. So that's perfect. Now some people, they get a little leery of only having 3M tape to adhere the spoiler or other body parts to the paint or body of your car and get worried about it possibly coming off don't worry about it 
3M tape is crazy strong. This right here is not going to catch a bunch of wind either. So as long as you get it stuck down good, it should be just fine. Velotti told me that they had a car, I think go even like 185 mile an hour or something like that. And it didn't even fly off, didn't come loose at all. So shouldn't be anything to worry about. So now that we've test fitted it and make sure that it looks like everything's going to line up real nice. The next thing to do is to pull this off. And now with it off, we have to wipe down every surface where the 3M tape is going to stick with something like some rubbing alcohol. So then that way we make sure we remove anything that's too greasy or would keep it from sticking and have a good surface for it to stick to. If y'all have something else that's a favorite of yours, then go ahead and use it as long as it's safe for your paint and safe for what you're going to put it on. So every surface now on this trunk lid has been wiped off. It's been cleaned up with some rubbing alcohol and been allowed to dry. So now I know our surface is good to stick to. So now we got to prepare the 3M tape on the spoiler. So what we have to do is we have to start pulling this red tape up so that it will be exposed when we put it on the car. So the red tape has to be out here where it's going to be visible for us to pull once this is set in place of where we want it. I prefer to start from the inside and work my way out. So I'm going to start pulling up these red pieces right here. All right, I've got it all ready to go. Got my side started there. Got this little piece here started. That's one of those small sections I had to remove. Got both of these centers up at the top started and at the bottom. Again over here a little one inch section that I had to remove. And then I have this started here so I can pull there. And then I've got this edge started. So before you put it on the car, go over everything. Make sure you have an edge to pull on that 3M tape in every spot all right let's take it over to the car and get it mounted up all right do one final check to make sure that all your ribbon is exposed in the places where you pulled it back and then as you set it down one of the best things to do with this one is to look back here at where the third brake light is at and make sure that you're lined up with it. Okay, don't put any pressure on anything. Check your edges. I need to go a little bit this way. This spoiler with the curves that it has back here by the third brake light it kind of fits like a glove so when you get it in the right spot you'll kind of feel it and you'll know all right that looks good all my ribbon is still exposed so i'm going to start right here in the center i'm going to start pulling my ribbon out All right, now what I'm going to do is finish this one side at a time. Put some good pressure down on it for a little bit. Now we'll finish up this side.
my opinion, GM should have put one of these on these cars from the factory. This thing looks so good though, and it is very good quality. Y'all do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up on this video to help out it and the channel. Also, down below, please consider subscribing and ringing that notifications bell. Please be sure to leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this spoiler. In my opinion, I think that this type of spoiler is what should be on the Cadillac. I know a lot of people are fans of the wicker bill style today, but in my opinion, the Cadillac is a bit too classy to put a big old wicker bill on it. This is not an autocross type car. This is more of a sleek, clean looking, powerful, sporty, muscle type car. I appreciate y'all for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.